It is a, the rule of law is one of the most profound of British traditions. And, the, and I'm not the, advocating the, breaking great, the rule of law. And we have responsibilities to deal swiftly with anybody who asks to be a refugee in the United Kingdom. The system is broken from the top to the bottom. P cases are just not decided on. If cases but you're, again, you're quickly, conflating the issue. No, there it, are two issues here. There are people who have a genuine right, right to asylum, and there are people who are seeking to get into the United Kingdom illegally. Everybody has the right to apply for asylum. Yeah, but everybody people, has the right to apply. For anyone asylum. trying to enter the country illegally should be forcefully turned back to France. That is the solution. Do you want to come back on that point? It just wouldn't work unless you. Of were, course, it works. It, it, the Australians did it perfectly adequately. They had a pushback. They had a pushback approach, and it worked. The, the Australians interdicted the entire Indonesian network uh, of people smugglers. There was a whole operation going well, on. Well, the French to buy boats, and, buy boats and burn them to criminalise the, the to do intelligence work. We we have to cooperate with the French. We have to cooperate with the European Union. And the problem is, our government doesn't want to sort out its own systems. Or cooperate Border enforcement Union. is not a bilateral arrangement. And Border enforcement is unilateral. It's unilateral at our border. And that has to be understood by the Home Secretary and by government. I love what Suella's doing. And I don't think she's incompetent at all, by the way. I think she's the most competent Home Secretary we've had in years. But she still isn't quite getting it. We have to be robust at our borders. But let me ask you this, though, because there was a lot of criticism, wasn't there? Suella really was quite harsh uh, today in the Commons a second ago, basically about Priti Patel and the process, the progress, should I say, mm. that the Tories had made thus far, mm. i.e. it wasn't good enough. Um, do you think, because this is an issue, I mean, you can say the Tories have been in power for 12 years, but that's kind of irrelevant because this is only kind of ramped up now. We're talking about the last 24 months or so. Um, <coughs> do you think that they've done, the Tories have done enough so far? Let's just go back. Let's forget the last 12 years. But in the last kind of two years, to even get a grip of this, or would you accept that actually they've failed and lost control of oh, it? Oh, I completely agree with John on that point. The, the Conservative part, the Conservative government has completely lost control. And... It's bizarre that it should be the Conservatives who have done it, because as you saw in the parliamentary debate, the Labour Party are more fussed about the hotel accommodation these people get than actually the protection of our sovereign independence. Um, you know, so you'd think the party that stood for sovereign independence, took us out of the EU, believes in uh, an independent United Kingdom, would actually have got a much better handle on this, and they, and they haven't.